everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie and I'm the owner of Broche Ballet Studios, an adult ballet studio here in Denver, Colorado. Today I want to talk about strengthening and stretching your feet. This is a question I get a lot, especially because as a teacher, uh, I actually have very bendy feet and that's just something that I was born with. So I get a lot of questions from people about how to improve my foot, how can I work on strengthening them, how can I work on stretching them. So I want to talk about that today. So, I want to start with the very first thing I like to do when I get into the studio, which is to give myself a little tendon massage. So, when you're looking at your foot, um, there's a, a tendon that runs all the way from your big toe, up under your foot, up under that little ankle nub, and up into your calf. This is called the dancer's tendon because it's so commonly used by dancers and actually so commonly injured by dancers. Um, but the technical name for it is the FHL. Um, it runs up here under your calf, so I like to give this tendon a little bit of a massage. You can really feel down your calf and see where you feel tension there. Where you feel tension, what you want to do is actually press harder where you feel that tension. You want to try and let it relax where you feel that tension. That's where there might be any kind of knots in there or any kind of, um, any kind of crunchy stuff going on in your tendon. You really want to get that out of there. That's the first place that I like to start. The second place, of course do that on both feet, the second place is with the TheraBand. So what you want to do with the TheraBand, um, you want to do a couple of things. The first thing is you want to sit with the TheraBand and you want to cross your foot over your other foot and then you want to try and press your foot out away from your other foot, that direction, out to the side. You want to go lower in very, very, very slowly press out and lower in. You want to do this about 10 or 12 times. You're trying to push your feet out to the side and very slowly, very gently lower into straight out and in. This foot over here is adding tension so that you have something to push against with your, with your foot. Then we actually want to switch to the other side so you want your foot over on the other side of this foot. So make sure you get the TheraBand nice and comfortable with this foot pushing out to the side so that you can make some tension. Then you're gonna actually take your foot in into the position that we call sickling. We wanna actually strengthen this range so that if you ever do roll your ankle or fall in, that you have enough strength to support your ankle there. This actually just gives you full range of motion support in that foot. Again, you wanna do about 10 or 12 of these on this foot. Last thing you want to do is work on pointing the foot. So I'm going to show you without the TheraBand first, then show you how it works with the TheraBand. So we want to point in what we call four parts. So you want to start by pushing the ball of your foot down, pointing your ankle, but leaving your toes totally flexed. At the very end, you want to reach your toes long. You don't want to crunch your toes. You don't want to curl your toes under. You actually don't ever want to point your foot like this. You want to point your foot by reaching your toes out and long and then toes back up, and then flex the whole ankle. So point the ankle, point the toes, flex the toes, flex the ankle. In the beginning, doing without the TheraBand is plenty of work. Pointing, the, pointing in four parts like this is a lot of work for the feet when you're just starting out. So you can do it without the TheraBand and still get a, a good workout from it. When you do want to add the TheraBand, you'll put the TheraBand right around the ball of your foot and you're going to still do the same thing, but make sure that you're not crunching your toes into the TheraBand. You never want to crunch your toes into the TheraBand. You really want your toes reaching nice and long in there. In the TheraBand, trying to reach them super long and not crunching them as you come through. You want to do about 10 or 12 of these on each foot. So that's how we strengthen our feet sitting on the floor. We've got a couple more that we're going to do standing up. So next we're going to work on a couple more things for strengthening the feet. The first is what we call doming. And doming is when, I'll turn to the side so you can see it. So you actually want to keep all your toes flat on the ground and then try to pick up the ball of your foot so that there's a little arch in space underneath your foot. This is going to work all of what we call the intrinsic muscles to the feet, which are the muscles that both start and end within the foot. So we're going to lift the arch up. I'll let you see with this foot so you can see from that angle as well. You're going to try and just really pick the ball of your foot up off the floor, leaving the tips of your toes on the floor. This in and of itself is a lot of work. You can actually even do this in your tennis shoes while you're at the grocery store. You can do this all around town. You can just be doming your feet and nobody will be the wiser. So there's no excuses not to work on your foot doming because you can do it literally anywhere. Just really work on lifting the arch of the foot off the ground, up off the ground. Next is we want to work on 
um, what we call proprioception. So proprioception is your brain's ability to know where your body is in space, and this is super important for the safety of your ankles, especially in jumps, once you're up on point, when you're on releve, it's really important that your brain can know where your foot is in space so you can land safely without having to be looking down at your feet. So the easiest way to work on this is actually just to stand on one foot in totally in parallel, this is not turned out, you're gonna just stand on one foot, lift your other foot, don't let it touch your legs, that's cheating. You wanna keep it hanging out next to your foot, it doesn't have to be pointed, but since you're a ballet dancer, it's probably gonna be pointed. Then you're gonna cross your arms, and you're actually gonna close your eyes. So you're gonna close your eyes, and you're gonna try and stay there for 30 seconds. See how my ankle's starting to wobble just a little bit? This is my brain having to figure out where my ankle is in space, and how to actually hold myself up with my ankle, just from the internal feeling of it all. So do that on each leg, 30 seconds a day. Once that starts getting easy, do it on a pillow. That'll challenge you a lot once you're on that pillow because it's gonna be so unstable and you're really gonna to have to use your brain to hold yourself up and keep that ankle nice and strong and stable. Last thing we're gonna to do today is actually with a tennis ball. It's a great tool to use for working on your ankle strength. Um, you can do two things with it. Number one, you can step on it. You can actually put it on the ground and step on it so that you can massage the tendons on the bottom of your feet. You can give it a good push, try to get the whole arch of your foot and really give it a good massage, really release the tendons under there. This will help with your arch as well as the general strength of that foot. Uh, the last thing is taking the tennis ball. We're gonna stand totally in parallel with your feet, uh, nice and aligned. You're gonna put the tennis ball right underneath those little ankle nubs, the same place where you do coupe and where you tuck in your point shoe ribbons. You're gonna put the tennis ball right there. Then you're gonna do releves holding the tennis ball. So you're gonna rise up and you're not gonna let the tennis ball go and then you're gonna lower back down. If you drop the tennis ball, then we know that you went out over the wrong part of your foot. So if you can do all these releves, still holding the tennis ball, then we know that you're tracking correctly over the correct part of your foot and releve, which is right between the big toe and the second toe. So you want to use the tennis ball to do about 10 to 12 releves a day. Once that starts getting easy, up the ante, go to 24, go to 32. Um, this, this will help to not only get you stronger, but also make sure that you're tracking over the right spot of that releve and not training your body incorrectly for those releves. That's all dancers. Hope, hope this helps you improve your feet. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, until next time.